One of the many great things about Kazoo is that it offers the opportunity to completely white label your offering. That means you're going to market with a solution that features your brand and your logo, so you can build strong brand awareness, establish key relationships, and build trust in your brand. In this video, I'll walk you through how to set up all of the customizations in the branding app. You want to start by entering your domain name, which is the URL that your customers will type into their web browser to access your portal. It must be in the format of portal.yourdomain.com. Once you've entered that in, click the Check DNS button, and it will give you a list of the configurable DNS settings to use to fully brand your site. You need to register the domain name you enter, as well as the listed subdomains with your DNS provider. Once you've given them all of that information and it's registered, you want to come back to this page, again click Check DNS, and look under the Configured column to see if you still have a, the, the red triangle or if there's a check mark. When you have a check mark, that means that everything is configured and working properly. Also in this section, you'll want to enter the realm suffix. The realm suffix is used to generate the account realms created via your white labeled interface. Every account will get a realm suffix added as it is the inbound proxy. And if you're going to be using our provisioner, you can customize the URL here in this box. After that, scroll down to the company info section and enter the appropriate information, such as your company name, a link to your terms and conditions, a link to your website, and more. After that, you can move on to the brand customization section, which is where you can upload your logo, upload a favicon and change the page title, as well as customize the login page. You can create a custom welcome message. You can change the brand color to match your brand color. And you can link your social media accounts if you'd like. Once you're done all of that, make sure you hit the Save Changes button so you don't lose all the information you've entered before moving on to the Advanced tab. In the Advanced tab, this is where you can make the designation of how you would like to handle port requests. You have the option to submit ports on behalf of customers or allow customers to, to request a port. And then when it comes to managing port requests, you can indicate whether you will manage port requests or, if you're bringing your own carrier, if they will be managing the requests. You also have the opportunity to include a letter of authorization and designate your support contact. Then there's the carrier options section, but you don't need to do anything with that. Just leave it as is. And again, click the Save Changes button before moving on to the Templates tab. The Templates tab is where you can customize a variety of templates we have created. This way, you don't have to spend time recreating the wheel. These templates are a way for you to get different notifications or alerts for a variety of things that are happening in your system. There are account alerts, faxing alerts, miscellaneous, porting, registration, SIP, system, user, and voicemail, email templates. For each one that you turn on, you'll want to make sure that you edit the To field so that the correct people receive the alert. There are three pre-configured options for updating the recipients, including sending to the user that triggered the action, the account administrators, or a specified list of email addresses that you can manually enter separated by commas. You can also send yourself a preview of the email to make sure it looks exactly as you would like it to. And you can turn emails on and off as needed with the click of a button. On that's it for the branding app. 
one simple app and you can make all the customizations you need.